Right, let's do the Tesco Tesco's, hack. Tesco's, yeah. This is probably the first time we've ever seen a bank admit a hack. A proper hack where people have lost money. This isn't phishing, this isn't individuals who've given their details, which we've had before. This is a bank whose security systems have been hacked. And it's come out and admitted it. It's 130,000 people, which is roughly one in six, have been exposed. 40,000, they think, have been attempted. And these are all rumoured figures and not fully confirmed. And 20,000 people have probably had money taken out of their account. Now, from an individual perspective, if you bank with Tesco, and we're talking its current accounts, not its savings accounts, again, as far as we know, details are sparse on this, it will ensure you are not out of pocket. It, could, it should recompense you, and also, if you have, for example, a payment that you wanted to go goes elsewhere, there isn't money in your account, so it defaults here and it defaults there, and your credit score is affected, it will put that right for you. We've had previous experience when NatWest and RBS people couldn't get their money out and couldn't make payments. There wasn't an actual hack there, but it resulted in much the same thing. So you shouldn't lose money. Lots of people saying, I can't get in touch with them. Of course you can't. People are panicking and we're calling them up. They don't have the capacity, I suspect, to deal with this on their phone lines. They are looking at it. We've never had one of these before. The great problem is once you announce that you've been hacked, it opens the door to other hackers to try and come in. We, there are massive, serious breaches of internet security, not just in banks, but in big companies all the time. They don't... T I've been involved in this. I, as you know, I, I'm not supposed to say it on there, but I, I run a very big website. We were DDoS. We were taken off air for, uh, for offline for three days once. And we've had others since. Now, my approach has always been to be transparent. The advice you get, though, is don't, because all you're doing is inviting other people to come in and hack you. So it's a really difficult decision. We often don't hear what's going on in the background. Mm. They, they're fighting it sometimes when the web goes slow, sometimes when you're told you can't use your bank because they've got technical problems. My suspicion is there's a hack attempt and they're shutting it down to stop that attempt. Well, for the first time, it looks like someone's got through with Tesco. Tesco is an independent bank. It used to be part of another bank, but it's now fully owned by Tesco. They will make it good, but this is why the government was talking last week about investing £2 billion pounds in cyber yes, security yeah. infrastructure. Yeah, this is like only it. the start, really, isn't it? I mean, the, 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 there is... Uh, for, for every system you put in place to keep them out, they are brilliant enough to when find you, another way to get in. When you put gold in a vault, people who want it enough will find clever ways to bust their way in and knock it, and when you put it behind a... a uh, an electronic vault, mm. then other people will try yeah. and crack through. There's some very clever but nasty people who have gone out there and done this.